My name is Insane Raven and I am back with another episode. What are you doing, Torres? Are you walking? Or no, are you going downstairs? The safe house runs a close second. Listen, don't freak out at the amount of explosives I got in here. There is okay. At least until I arm them. You, you're intense, uh, Torres. Oh, my name is Insane Raven and I am back with another episode of uh, The Evil Within 2. And, uh... In the last episode, we... So what are we going to do about Theodore? Father Teddy. I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... She cray-cray. ...changed. This place seems to have affected her. She cray. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him, maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. I guess. But I have to find him first. I don't know. How are you going to do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. <laughs> Lizard people, lizard people. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people. People, lizard, lizard, lizard people. Did you find Stefano? I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. Again. The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Alright, cool. Posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Ah, that's dangerous. It's dangerous shit. Business. O'Neill, Sebastian, come in. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people, people. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. This chapter 11? Get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a... The journal was written in a neat feminine hand. The most recent entry follows... As follows. Not sure how long I've been waiting for Myra and Theodore to return. Time is a sketchy concept in sense to them. Even more so since they escaped. All I know is that they should have returned by now. Am I dying here? I just want whoever finds this diary to know that I went in willingly. I did something a long time ago. Something that I regret. And that's why I'm here now. Waiting to take Lily out of here. This is my last chance at redemption. It may be a shot at starting my life over. Either way, I'm committed to this plan. I'll see it through to the end, no matter what. But it's obvious something went wrong. If that's the case, I should keep an eye out for help. Like Kidman told me to. But this place is falling apart around me. I hope I can find him if he gets sent inside. There's computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people, lizard people, lizard, lizard people, people, lizard, lizard people. Okay. Now that I got that out of my system, I'm good. What is this? Explosive? Ooh, it's a freeze arrow. Freeze bolts. Look at all the explosions. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people, lizard people, lizard, lizard people. I need to save my game. I also need to take a sip of coffee. Oh, wow. So, we've now gone two episodes in. Two chapters in. It's not bad. I'm not keeping a bad pace. Where's the coffee? Give me coffee. Lizard people, lizard, lizard people. But as I was saying earlier today, earlier in the episode, um, the worst part about being almost sick is 
just not having the energy, man. Like, I am just drained. And it's weird, because I, know I haven't done anything. And that's the frustrating part. It's like, I know I should have way more energy to do things. But... I just want to nap, and I want to sleep, and I don't want to do anything, man. Um... Torres, your ladder's gone. Can I pick it up? Gonna guess no. Lizard people, is lizard people, lizard people. Is there another way? No. Wait, what? Okay. I should probably talk to you. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You know, the plan. Said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip okay. gives them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. Oh. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. That is a way to solve the problem. Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. Fair point. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kinman is really like. Hey! Keep her true outsiders are the best. So you could get close enough to strike. We're the best people. Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. Okay. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? Yeah. It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Okay. Think about it. He probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. He is. That's his game. He he's an issue. Of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like Kidman. His friend. Talking to you, Kidman. How did you find me? I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still what the fuck happened? Me. me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was okay. Pretty unpredictable before she escaped, but now I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. I like that even the game kind of like acknowledges that, like, dude, we don't know. Shit just happens. Okay, is there another way? Can't climb this. Can't put up this. Drink my boot. That's my butt. Okay. I, I wish I was paying better attention. Do I have to go this way? Okay. 
Oh, here's the camera. Oh, high grade weapons pod. I probably. How's my stuff? Do I have a bunch of stuff? Let's go upgrade some of my stuff. Let's see if there's any of my stuff that I can upgrade. Now you're playing with fire power. Is it power or is it fire? I don't remember. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Of course, I got that fire. I got all of that. Squared away. What is this? Nugget biscuit, nugget and a biscuit, nugget biscuit. It's too bad, like, all that shit came out about him. I feel like I say that a bit too often. Oh, yeah, like, he was a great dude, but it's too bad about what came out about him. So good. Let me help you. you know what, Tatiana? I don't need you. I don't need you saying things about me like that. Shit's mean. Shit's hurtful. What do I want? Do I want recovery? Uh, let's kick back. That'd be nice. Oh. Probably should have bought that. Shit. I like that. Defiance. An attack is on. Nah. I think this is probably the better thing to go with. Cut. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. You're right. If you knew something I didn't. You could have just told me and saved me the headache. You could have. Yeah, I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. Tatiana, you freak me out. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. O'Neill. They are there to accompany you, but the discovery is yours alone to make. Maybe I don't want to discover things. And self-discovery. Maybe I don't want to learn new things. Maybe I just want to oh. get my daughter and get out of here like Christ. Ah. I don't have any more keys. You're frustrating me, Tatiana. You're frustrating. I feel like I probably wanted to get more. Um... Wait, she said she's tending into my room, right? So let's go. You got anything new for me, cat? No, she doesn't. Because the cat's not running away doing shit. Go on. It's nothing new. It's nothing new. I wish I could pet the cat. That'd be nice. What's that? Is that a twinkle in my eye? Dope. <laughs> Silver tongue angel or guardian devil? What? When you first meet the when you first meet motiv motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma, or meaning apparent, his large, almost imposing statue, contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It is face that he has graced the covers of a series of best-selling self-help books and launched a series, so-called spiritual well-being oasis, known as Moo Centers. But what looks behind this friendly and benevolent demeanor? With some, while some consider Wallace a guru, others, religious watchdogs, and more disturbing family members of Moose Centers, 
congregants consider him nothing more than a modern day cult leader. Fun! Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Does the universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is conspiring to distract you with the shiny but unattainable babbles in an effort to distract you from the truth? Are you convinced you're the only one who feels this way? Then Moo Center. Then the Moo Center is for you. Come through all the shackles of modern society. Meet others of similar mindset. Create a better reality, the reality that you want. Not the one they want for you. Moo, we're waiting for you. God, that's creepy. Spiritual leader and motivational. Uh. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. I feel like they always do. That was gross. The bastard smooth talked himself. Kidman. I've had a serious con conversation with Myra. I'm sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight at 10 outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater. Make sure that no one's following you. He was probably saying something of importance that I just not did not follow. Okay. But well, we have a new projector slide, so let's check this out. See a cap? Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. Yeah. Back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. Well, he was so young. I wanted to help you become one of the best, but the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you, to make sure KCPD weren't on to us. Too bad. Yeah, we had no idea. You could have been a great cop. A great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. Of course it was. In juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, he was either joined them or rot in jail. Ah. choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do Oh. I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. That's kind of sad, dude. The rebel in you is never too far behind. Oh. It's kind of It's kind of sad. So we need to do something in this episode. So far all, all we've done is walk around <laughs> Torres is a safe house. We've um we've upgraded my abilities. We've talked to people. We haven't really done anything. Let's try to do something. <laughs> because ah, that's gonna be maddening. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Pass through the marrow to find a way back to O'Neill. Why do I have this feeling that O'Neill is just dead? He's just a dead boy. He's just the dead boy. He's just the dead boy. He's just the dead boy. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Deep down, down below the waves is a foreboding place from which you won't escape. No. Every day I'm growing. That doesn't sound good. Okay, I better pick some stuff up. What is this? Condenser. There was this portable condenser. Oh. That's going to be a crafting pot for the uh, snow. The freeze bolts, isn't it? Okay. Hopefully we don't stop. Okay, why did I kick it? What do you mean to kick it? So aggressive. Oh, okay. Apparently, I was falling. Good to know I was falling on solid ground. Better pick this up. 
Wow, this is just concerning. Okay. Where am I going? The safe house. Well, is there a way I'm missing? <sighs> Do I have to craft a thing? Okay, I just have to go and interact with it. I'm very curious as to what... Really? That was it? Oh, yay! More candles! Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. I was worried we weren't gonna have enough candles. I should check up on her. And the slide. Why do I have this feeling that Hoffman's dead? Damn, Theodore. I get that you you really like killing, but did you have to murder everyone? Like just everyone's dead. Oh, hello. I guess you were that falling uh, soldier got earlier. That's concerning. Anyone else around? Nope. Okay. It's locked. Not really a great sign, but okay. Okay. Hoffman, you here? Oh, she's dead. Another one of these. What happened here? She's dead. She's dead. Liam? Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. The other side of the laboratory. How did you? Okay. I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. Half men to go to a restricted area of the marrow it doesn't sound like him it's not like him at all I'm concerned about him actually uh, oh doing some detecting dope more trophies time has a concept inside stem has always been tricky but the disappearance of the coal and the collapse of union has amplified this tenfold the changes have become even more pronounced since sebastian left to confront stefano I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security cameras. Not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the matter itself. It's changing, shifting, items appearing seemingly out of nowhere, creatures that defy imaginations wandering the halls. I'm not leaving the safe house until I have a damn good reason to do it, but who knows how long a safe house can remain safe in here. Well, that's not exactly hopeful. So I think what I'm gonna do, um, actually, is there a mirror? Cause if there's a mirror. I'd like to, like to hit that real quick. Drink some coffee, just to be safe. Cause I don't think I'm coming back to this area anytime soon, anyway. 
So I'll drink some coffee. And let's see if we can find a mirror real quick. Oh, I was at full health. Cool. I'm glad I wasted that. Not where I want to be. Okay. Um, because I don't want to do any more story things just yet. I feel like what we should do is we should go back to my room and look at the projector slide we got. I feel like that's a better... Okay, so that's... That's where we have to go. We have to go that way. Um, but I feel like if we... There's the mirror. Grab the mirror was here. I feel like if we go through here, we check out the the next projection. Um the new projection that'll be that put us in a good place. No, we didn't really do much in terms of uh story or progression, but I feel like we did some good. Kidman, it's me. Region loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. No come. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. They talk to me about that. Everywhere, hidden in plain sight. Yep. I don't understand how. I don't That's. Know you don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've I mean. For a long, long time. Yeah. <laughs> they know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. That's disturbing. Stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. It's just what they do. Choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's dictatorship. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. It is evil! They burn Mobius to the ground. I mean, only slightly. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Hey! Just because I didn't believe my wife doesn't mean you get to do anything. To make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. It's a good slide. Hey, cat. Thanks, kitty. Good kitty. All right, but I think I'm gonna call this an episode. Um, we have to now hunt down Hoffman, and we have to find O'Neill. So we're in a good place. We are in a good place for the story i think we're coming up upon the halfway points um but i don't really know but this is gonna be another episode thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time bye, -bye.